you know, the unique thing about the human brain is that we are extraordinarily creative. Thomas Hobbes, who was this philosopher back in the 1600s, said very profoundly, he said, you know, a dog can see a horse, yes, and a dog can also see a man. But there's no dog that has ever put the man and the horse together to make a centaur. That's imagination. That is uniquely human. And in fact, it didn't really get going until 50 or 60,000 years ago when you find those wonderful cave paintings in southern France, for example, or in Australia. So imagination is the key to everything. It's the key to the city we live in. It's the key to the technology we use. It's amazing. But that is the fundamental difference between us and the rest of the animals. Now, we should be celebrating that imagination, but we should also be careful because it can take us down interesting paths where we sort of lose our humanistic understanding. We lose communication with each other. You know, who has 500 friends on Facebook? Do you really know 500 people on Facebook? No, of course you don't. Most people have intimate friends, five to 10. Close friends, maybe 10 to 50. But nobody has 500 friends. But we imagine we do because of this technology that enables us to see all these names and communicate with all these people. But they're not really intimate friends. It changes the nature of the human beast to consider them all friends.